was just directing people. Go on that side. <laughs> New protected bike lanes designed to increase safety for cyclists and scooter riders are also increasing confusion for some drivers. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee in tonight for Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. It's been anything but a smooth ride since the new lanes were unveiled early last week. News 8's Richard Allen is live downtown to show us what's causing the chaos. Richard. And Carlo and Marcella, these new bike lanes here are causing a lot of drivers to do a double take, thinking they're parked behind uh, a car waiting for a red light and angry when they realize they've been waiting for no reason. In fact, one local business owner here has taken matters into her own hands to try to quell the confusion. They're honking, they're screaming, it was loud. I'm like, this is not New York people. <laughs> Paula Cardenas owns City Cuts on 6th Avenue in downtown San Diego. And while her primary job is cutting hair, over the past week she's adopted an additional go. duty. The other side. Directing traffic with the help of her homemade fluorescent yellow arrow. It was too much that we have to go outside and help them out. Somebody had to do the job. <laughs> this after the city installed new protected bike and scooter lanes, eliminating parking along the curb and instead moving the parked cars into the middle of the street. And it seems to me it's not cool. It's confusing. Confusing for a lot of drivers who think the parked cars are actually waiting for the red light. I don't expect that uh, cars can uh, park in the middle of the street. Apparently, neither did this guy, who finally understood he was stopped behind an unoccupied parked car. I'm like, there's nobody there. Keep on going, go around. These new bike lanes are part of the city's long-range plan adopted three years ago to encourage more people to use bikes and scooters and in the process reduce greenhouse gas emissions over the next three decades. For nearby resident John Salas, who scoots to work every day, it's a welcome change to the downtown landscape. I mean, it gives us space, you know. That's a lot safer. You can see it. instead of cruising in between cars, like black, like lane splitting, you have your own lane to cruise through, so it's, it's real nice. And for Drivers, it's a learning curve they need to negotiate. We just have to learn, and that's it. <laughs> It's a learning curve now, along with 6th Avenue, new bike lanes have also been added along J and Beach Street. And along with providing a safe space for bicyclists and scooters, they also provide a special emergency lane now for ambulances when necessary. Carlo and Marcella. All right, Richard, thanks. We just got to learn how to navigate through those uh, new bike lanes. And just be aware that there are changes down there and that you're going to see them if you're driving down right. there. Right, keep your eyes open.